Today my Ronald McNally is completely died. After five years, he's died already. And when I'm driving, he's just show me the gray screen and he's just turn it off. When I unplug the power socket, and uh, he's just like start loading map and then again just turn it off. So today I I think I can fix this. So what we have? I already opened this, but I, I would like to show you guys how to open this. We have a uh, few screws on the back. Then when you unscrew the screws, you can use some card. I will use my lowest card for uh, just priming from the side and like this, and you can remove the screen. But be careful. You have a very nice pictures over here. It's uh, the cord is going to the screen, and on the top you have uh, your GPS module. Okay, then you have uh, three screws: one here, one here, and one over there. And you have a. Uh, oh man! Okay. And you have a little hook over here. It's holding the board. So you need to just a, just a prime from uh, this side where is the USB and uh, another uh, connection. Just prime like this and you can remove your main board. And that's what I found my battery oh man when I check the voltage over here it says B plus and G and D that's what we have power it shows me like 4 volts it's a, like a good voltage but battery is, has air inside I think it's overheating for 5 years so today I try to replace the battery and I hope it's helped me so I have two choices. I have one battery. Uh, I don't know if it's working. It shows me some voltage, but it's a bigger. I don't know if I can fit this battery inside. And I have a 18650 kind of battery. It's come from an old battery from a laptop. I use Lara this battery for a lot of different things and for a flashlights. So maybe I can drill in just the just the two holes and glue this battery back. And next time it's gonna be easy to change the battery, you know. So we'll see. Let's start working. Need to add more temperature. This white wire is gonna be should be a temperature sensor. But it's not help for a battery. And inside in the battery we should be have a, a like little board. It's gonna be uh, uh, save uh, the battery for uh, overheating, overcharging, over discharging. Uh, it's kind of it's precise tapes. Huh. It's not easy to. Ah, remove this battery. Come on, baby. It's 
time to retire. Hmm. Look on this bed. Ay, ay, ay. And this is the small board. So I'm going to remove this board and I think I'm going to put to this battery. Or maybe I can leave this board inside the GPS and just get out just the two wires. We'll see. be very be careful because if you can hit this bubble it has like some uh, poison gas inside so it can be dangerous or if a uh, battery still have some charge it can explode so you should be very careful hey focus Now we have battery plus and no, it's not battery. It's a power plus and power minus. And from this side, now we have the same connection. Battery plus, battery minus. Okay. This is the trash already. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and recycle this. So next step. Uh, I'm gonna solder over here two wires and drill over here somewhere two holes. I'm gonna find some some spot and just get these wires outside and solder to positive and negative and just glue this freaking battery to the rear wall. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Let's get some more heat. Straight when it's Celsius should be good. Okay, let's start to find some ah, some spot for Amica holes. Alright, I think it's better places over here on the top. So right here we have a speaker. This is the mount area and some button. So I think if I gonna put but this way is gonna be better cooling I can set like this but uh, I can close the speaker so free I think it's only one way right here on the top and I need to drill in like two small holes here and here and just put the wires 
Well, uh, one more thing. Uh, we have over here on the top, it's a GPS antenna or GPS sensor. So if I can close all this stuff, I hope it's gonna be over here. Right on under this hill. So if I put here, I hope I don't, I don't gonna be locked the GPS signal. Uh, anyway, we'll see. All right. So I put the wires, all the battery, and show you how it looks. I scratched this uh, surface for a uh, better soldering, and that's a negative. And yes, I know it's not a good idea for soldering straight to the battery, but anyway, I still have enough tools for get my GPS back to life and don't spend the, any like two, three, four, five hundred dollars for a new one. Also, if this one battery, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if this one battery is died, I can replace this right now for next 10-15 minutes with this hack when I have battery outside. Most important in this case you don't have to heat for a long time. But I have a very good Chinese soldering iron and it's all very well. Good. Not good. That's a little bit hot, but I think it's okay. Just this 
Uh, this battery is already, I think, like 10 years old. But I'm checked by special charger, it still has like 2000 milliamps. Okay. Positive, it's negative. All right, looks funny. too hot all right and I think we're ready for our first test Come on. Mm -hmm. He's starting. Proceed to the highlighted route. Okay. arrived at your destination yeah I'm here okay so let's turn it back off and put together and we'll see if it's uh, if it can find the GPS if the battery is not locking the GPS antenna all right so I use just a cheaper from the log tree to side tape and just regular electric tape in the top I don't have any better idea what I can use in this case okay we'll see This is the third one. And yeah, it's right here. I don't know if you can see this little hook. Need to press a little bit. And it's hooked. This is the right here exactly. I don't have enough light, but anyway. The GPS model. Yeah, it's exactly over here. I'm sorry. The GPS model. It's exactly over here. We just need to put the four screws and use some hot glue, I think, 
for a full new battery. Also, the original battery has a 950 milliamps. This one is uh, for 10 years. Well, I'm sorry, for 10 years later. This one has uh, around 2000 milliamps. So it's gonna be twice stronger. But we'll see how long it can work. For a year, for a few months, for a... Uh, I don't know, maybe five years. We'll see. But anyway, now it's easy to change the battery. Hmm. I like this. By the way, it's around McNally. Uh, I think it's 5, five Tory. Yeah, it's a 5 Tory. My phone is don't don't keep the focus. Oi. Yeah, right now it has GPS signal. All right, let's try to cover the GPS signal. No, still work. <clears throat> One time when I'm driving with my GPS and I put on the top over here the dash cam. <laughs> And it's helped my GPS because he's always show me I'm over the road. Looks like I it has the GPS signal, but it looks like it's I'm driving on the like few feet away from the highway. So I think my GPS is dies mm -hmm. again. But no, when I remove the dash cam, <laughs> it's worked good again. Yeah, I think GPS is good. Okay. Let's hold the battery. Alright, I have super duper heat gun with super glue. And let's glue this. I need more glue, but I don't have any glue. It should be enough to get back home. Alright, it's good to go. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this video can help somebody solve a problem with his own. GPS. I know it's work with around McNally. I'm not sure about another. But anyway, it doesn't cost any money for you for uh, make a this hack. And we'll see. Okay. Thank you, and see you on the next video.